live. How is everybody doing today? Krista Sutton here with the beautiful Chardonnay Juarez. Hi, we are at Chardonnay's Brew Lane. We're going to get started here in just a second. I know that we've got several of you that are going to be jumping on. So uh, we'll go ahead and wait for that. We've got the most adorable girls next to us hanging out with the moms this morning, like Ballerina Tutu, adorable. We're loving them. So that's who you hear playing in the background. Um, Mr. Newland, good morning, good morning. So glad that you're on. <laughs> On. She was our guest last week. She's a rock star. Love you, Kim. Glad you're on, honey. Fantastic. Well, it is 1030, so we are going to go ahead and get started. Um, welcome, everybody, to Coffee with Krista. We are here at Chardonnay's Brew Lane in downtown Meridian. And every week, I have the opportunity and the pleasure of introducing you to people that I think you really need to know. And I got to tell you, um, Chardonnay is kind of a big deal, like kind of a really big deal. Um, so she is going to be my guest today, and this is so cool because we get to do this live together and hang out with amazing coffee. So exciting. I know, I know, I know. So with that, let's go ahead and let's just jump right on in. So why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody, and let's, let's talk a little bit about you while I drink coffee. Hi, everyone. So my name is Chardonnay Juarez. I just turned 22 yesterday, and I own Chardonnay's Brew Lane, which is a coffee shop right off of the Meridian exit. Most fabulous coffee that you could get here. We have pastries, we have breakfast burritos, and we also have antique vintage items. So get your gifts on by over here if you're thinking about that special someone. So we're located off uh, 750 South Progress Avenue, right behind the Children's Museum. So we're kind of a little bit hidden, but once you get here, it is a gem. So trust me with that. It's an oasis. It's just like a little oasis. I love it here. It's super fun. Um, I shop here every time I come in here. Yes, gorgeous, gorgeous. And look, Krista is rocking oh, yes. her outfit. World's best sponsor. Check this out, guys. Coffee with Krista. Woohoo! She makes yellow pop. I seriously, those of you that are watching that are friends of mine, I probably bugged you about this yesterday because I had this, once she gave me this shirt, totally surprised, did not expect it. I was just wanting one of her t-shirts to wear because we are focusing on her today and she was so excited to give me my shirt and I'm like, oh, okay, whatever, until I saw it and then I squealed like a four-year-old. I was just like, oh, that is the coolest thing ever. You guys, I kind of feel like a big deal myself because, you know, my name's on a shirt and I didn't do it, so... There's that. Amazing. Amazing. So, the reason that I wanted to introduce you to Chardonnay, not just because she has this amazing coffee shop, not just because she's my sponsor, but because hi, she's 22, like 22 in a day. And she has accomplished so much already and is just such a, she's just a, a force of nature. She's somebody whose space and energy that you want to be in. So I wanted her to be able to share her story, and then we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit more about the coffee shop and where the idea from that for that came from, um, and some of her, her visions of what she wants to create in the future. So, uh, so so just start by telling us a little bit about you. What do we need to know? Okay, so besides the fact that I am 22, the longest dream that I've ever wanted, which I'm pretty sure a lot of my grotto members have heard this part, is I wanted to be a dentist for so long. Really? Yes. I was four years old when I realized I wanted to be a dentist. I love working on people's teeth. It's just so fascinating. It's smiling. Who doesn't love to smile? So after People who don't go to the dentist don't love to smile. Yeah. People who don't like coffee don't like to smile. <laughs> Coffee is why I smile. <laughs> so, growing up, um, I just focused on my career with the whole uh, dentistry. I joined pre-collegiate programs that involved dentistry. I volunteered on uh, shadow dentists. And then, as soon as I got out of high school, I went to a dentist place called Visa Dental fabulous place ever and I worked there for a while and I just realized it was not my strongest suit that I actually wanted to do this huh. whole life I thought I wanted to just focus on one certain career and I'm so glad that I got to realize that at a, that at a very young age because I left Reese's Dental and joined Espresso Americano to become a barista so that's a little bit of a little bit yeah, of a I'm the reason why you go to the dentist sometimes well you know I didn't want to say anything but <laughs> so, yeah. after going 
to Reese's Dental, I mean, not Reese's Dental, uh, Espresso Americano. The owner there um, introduced himself and he asked me if I ever wanted to open up a franchise. And that was never my intentions in the first place to go anywhere in the business industry. I always focus so much on medical that I was like, wow, thank you for opening up my eyes on that because now that was in the back of my head realizing that I'm such a good barista and so living in Denver, Colorado, I moved here to Idaho a year and a half ago. Yay, and Colorado, by the way. Yes. And with the help of my parents, they helped me financially open up Chardonnay's Brule. So this place was very, very special to me because we have a vintage uh, espresso steamer, which is gorgeous. And that's that's a gut feeling that I got knowing that this was the right place for me. So we opened up Chardonnay's Brulee and go all in it. April 9th, we are having um, a barbecue for the one year anniversary of Chardonnay's Brulee. So we have one more month to go. April 9th? Uh, first time I'm hearing about this, so uh, I'll be there. Yes, we're planning on having some kind of great barbecue treats and probably bouncy house for the kids since we're right behind the Children's Museum. So I think it'll be a strong suit for us. Oh, I love it. That's fantastic. Now, you are also very heavily involved in the Hispanic Chamber. Yes, I am. So talk, because I've, I've heard good things about you. So <laughs> tell us a little bit about your involvement with the, with the Chamber. So John Jones from Kagan Water went up to Diane Bevan, which is the CEO of the Hispanic Chamber. She is She's full fabulous. time. She is gorgeous. Oh, yes. <laughs> she, uh, he introduced her to me, and she walked into my coffee shop one day, and she says, I need you on my team. And she wow. took a picture right there and then. You know how she's a very fast paced moving woman? Yes. Busy, busy, busy. She took a picture with me and she's been my mentor ever since. So, wow. yeah, she's been a very great suit. The Hispanic Chamber gets involved. It's very diverse and we focus on so many businesses, luncheons, connecting. It's, it's like family there. So, it's a great suit. If you haven't heard about it, go to the Hispanic Chamber Conference online and you'll learn more about their information. They're just such amazing. Are. It is it's a fabulous organization. I have a lot of friends that are plugged into the Hispanic Chamber. Uh, Stephanie Schaefer, uh, Lauren Branch. Um, oh gosh, I can't think of names right now off the top of my head. I mean, everybody's like, have you gone to the Hispanic Chamber? I haven't yet. Yeah, definitely. I'll have, to, I'll have to come as your guest one week. Yes. We That'd also so have fun. Cafe Connects and Business After Hours. So if you look onto our webpage, you could just come on by and meet us. Coffee? Yeah. Cafe Connects. Yes. Yeah, I'm there. Coffee and pastries. Who doesn't love coffee and pastries? My um, waistline. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My waistline is not a big fan. Um, so, talk to us a little bit about. I mean, I love the fact that um, that you know you were inspired at such a young age. I mean, you guys, I was like almost like 40 when I figured out what I wanted to be when I grew up. You know, and a lot of us. I mean, I, I have a lot of guests that are that'll be coming up down the road that are, you know, people who are like my age in their late 40s, early 50s, that are, they're you know, totally new career change. You know, this yeah, is what I want to do, oh wait, now I'm doing this. And so to find somebody that is so young that's already been able to identify that, one, is a really big deal. But it's also really interesting in the fact that, um, I, I, well, here's what I want you to share with me is I want to hear about, you know, you when you were much younger, you know, what, you, you always wanted to be into dentistry. What were some of the, who were some of the big role models and the influencers in your life at a young age that allowed you to be open to entrepreneurship? Because I'm telling you, when I was 22, I had my first daughter, and if anybody would have said entrepreneurship, I would have laughed at them. I was a career kid. I spent 15 years in, in, in the insurance industry, and so... Entrepreneurialism at the age of 22, just it, I didn't even know what the word yeah, meant. So, exactly. so you obviously had some good mentors and role models and people in your life. Tell us about that. Family and books is the key. Um, family is where they will always cherish you and love. Family doesn't necessarily have to be blood, it could be friends that you meet along the way, it could be um, cousins love and all that other great stuff even your pets they're a family so they play an important role and definitely I uh, was a big uh, literature person so I did not like reading um, or writing I would do it but I wasn't understanding what I was reading until I joined um, fifth grade I was uh, placed into summer school that way it helped me out um, more
more understand and engage with the characters in the book. And after that summer, I never took my hands off the book. So they make your they make your mind wander around and get that feel that there's more endless possibilities because you see yourself into different shoes and and you're engaged with the book. So yeah, I was like, you know what? Like all this imagination, all this dreaming can be possible if you just place it out. And that's what a lot of the characters in the book. But my top role models are gonna have to be my parents and my siblings. My siblings were my best friends growing up, um, elementary, middle school, high school. I could not do anything else without them. Um, they're there when we go hiking. They're there when I needed to cry on. It was just, it was, they were just amazing. And they still are super supportive in whatever I do. They have my back to the fullest extent. And my parents, my dad is a go-getter. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you have met him. He's just go, go, go. Make sure you put in all the blood, sweat, and tears into anything you do. And if you're gonna be very good at something, make sure you do it with your fullest extent. And he even told me, it doesn't matter if you're cleaning houses or, or building something, make sure you're just very good at it. And him being my backbone all along the way, I think he, he always told me that anything's possible just as long as you put your full mind into it. So um, I'm a great believer with that, that background about him. So I think he really pushed me hard and he told me never give up and he made me believe in myself because of how much he believed in me. So my dad and my connection are super, super strong. So yes, you could say I'm a daddy's little girl. <laughs> I'm a daddy's girl too. And I'm 51. And I'm still a daddy's girl. I'm always going to be daddy's girl. Oh, yeah. I don't care. Oh, yeah. I'm like two in his eyes for the rest of his life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love that. I was actually listening to, and I totally love with your dad, how, you know, how he instilled that if you're going to do it, be really good at it. Um, I attended um, I attended a grotto group earlier this week, and their educational moment was amazing. Um, uh, uh, Franklin Covey's son is now writing books, and he has a book out called The Speed of Trust. And in there, he talks about the two most important things, which are character and competency. I mean, it's it's you've got to, you've got to have integrity, but you've got to be good at what you yes. do. Otherwise, nobody wants to work with you, nobody wants to support you, and nobody wants to refer you to others unless you're incredibly competent. And this gal is really good. Everything she puts her hands on, she dives in. And um, I mean, I I have heard so many wonderful things about her from so many people. Up until, I mean, I haven't even met her yet, and I was just chomping at the bit to get in here I'm and meet her. super appreciative of all of you who've ever put a good word of mouth to other people's ears. I'm very, all your good deeds are not left undone, so I am noticing every single one of you who come into my coffee shop, who's engaging out there and talking about me. And I, I have such big love for all of you. <laughs> and also, I do not want to forget about the strongest woman in my life, which is my mom. So if you ever came into the brulee, you see that there's another woman behind the desk working with me, and that is my mom, not my sister. <laughs> she looks very young. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> And we she, love her. Yes, she is such a strong woman. She plays mother role, she plays wife, and she plays a barista and the accountant. So four jobs in one. I think she's wonderful. Um, she totally is, and she's oh, I just love her so much. She's helping a customer, or I would make her come over here and say hi. <laughs> we should do that. We we'll have to do that. I can see her. I can see her. She's like, oh, I don't want to hear it. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's like, no, no, no. She's just going to see how she is. Anyway, fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. So next question. Answer me this. Um, all of us are all about, you know, those of us that are especially entrepreneurial, we're all about that business development, that personal development. What are some of... You, you, you don't put books down now. You love them. What are some of what are you reading now? What are some takeaways from uh, some of the books that you've read or um, speakers that you've attended that have really kind of impacted you in a way that that um, are, it's kind of broadening your vision of your business? Yeah, well, definitely. Right now, I am reading uh, Coffee with Hemingway, of course. <laughs> Such a good book. French Daryl, Hemingway, Edgar Allan Poe. They go very deep and depth with their life, and they see. Um, 
their views in life and other people's shoes, not just themselves. They go very, very in depth in the philosophical and even sometimes spiritual ways of life. And I think because of that, I am able to have that strong suit and put myself in everybody else's shoes. And if you've ever been home here, you know that I put myself in your shoes when you're picking out an order from our menu. Um, it's all about your taste, it's all about your style, and it's about your environment, and if you're comfortable. That's what I like to do, is I never ever focus on my app. I focus on the people around me. And a lot of my greatest speakers, so by far, I know that we just attended a gala with a man called Trying to Reconnect. Awesome. <laughs> oh gosh. No, death moves us in. Don't leave. The Marine and Chamber hosted a gala, and the gentleman's name was Coach B. And look how strong willed he was. He was just a, he's a football coach, and he, he was just like, Everything he was saying was just so strong and tough and rough. But I was like, that's why you have to go with life. You just have to go for it. Don't even some, worry you know, about it. Some of us are, yeah, yeah. left brainers love that. Yes, right brainers yes. are more, you know, they want the softer touch. Like, yes, I, and I really resonate. I love people that are just, you know, straightforward. This is what you do. This is what it needs to look like. And, and I love that. Yeah, and that can happen to pretty much anyone. You can, it's just a habit that you have to pick up. I didn't pick it up overnight. It just, you know, I learned about it and just yeah. practice and practice. Come on. Okay. And it's a skill set. Yeah. And I think so many people don't realize that the, most of the things that are going to get you to the next level in business, they're just skill sets. Yes. I, I, I've talked to countless people. I've got clients I've worked with who are like, well, I'm just not, you know, that just isn't me. That just yeah. isn't me. And it's like... There's a difference between wiring and skill set, and if it's a skill set, we can adapt it to your personality. That's not the problem. It's being open to developing new skill sets. Um, I, I was talking, who was I talking to the other day? I was chatting with someone the other day. Oh, a client of mine, uh, letting her know that back in my insurance days, I wouldn't stand up in front of a room of two people that I knew and speak. I was like just deathly paralyzed and afraid. And then it wasn't until later when I realized this is a skill set, and I can find a way to do it. And I've, obviously, I've never looked back. I mean, I speak professionally for a living in addition to coaching. We're doing, you know, coffee with Krista. That's I love amazing. doing Facebook Lives. It's That's a big stuff in your life. It is. It's a big deal. And it's, 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 I would have thought you were born in the natural. <laughs> I'm also an introvert, which nobody believes. Um, but it, 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 does, it does. It boils down to skill set. And just the, the more skill sets you can develop, the better off you're going to be. And it's not just for those of us that are entrepreneurs. That's, that's for all of us. Yeah. It's just, you know. your passion is. Yeah, being open to, to trying new things. So, um, so I want to talk about. You guys, this place is so cool. Everywhere I go, anybody who's watching this, oh, and if you're on live, hashtag live. If you're watching the replay, hashtag the replay. Oh, we're gonna do something sneaky. Mom. Oh, don't pretend. Yeah. Mama. We love you. We love you. Well, she blew you she a kiss. Kisses. I just got her. It is, it is what it is. Anyway, um, so we're not going to get mom on camera, but that's okay. We're going we're gonna to sneak attack. We're going to sneak attack. Don't say anything. So, drink some of your coffee. It's going to be cold. Oh, yeah. This is super delicious. Coffee I do have alternative milks. Soy milk, coconut, almond, you know. So Those were not dairy drinkers. When, when you first talked about um, getting the shop started, getting the, the uh, getting where we bought the coffee. Yes. Good Lord. I've Everybody. lost yes. the ability yeah. to speak the English language. I need more coffee. Yeah. When you wanted to get Drew Lane up off the ground, what were some of the things that you yeah. wanted to do to, to kind of make it stand out? Because this has such a really fun atmosphere. I mean, that was when I first walked in, I just was like, oh, I'll just bring my stuff down and work here all day long. So. Yeah, I'm such a big believer in history, of course, as a book reader. History is one of my strongest suits. Um, I really love the Roaring Twenties era. It was my Black girls, it was just a new generation where everything flipped. That's when the automobiles came and we had Gangsters. credit cards and yeah. Yeah. Gangsters. Exactly. I'm sorry. I, I love it. Yeah. 
yeah. women are so empowering and they were just out there and they were like showing their voices and I was just like, yeah. I don't think you can show a voice, but yeah, most definitely you know what I mean. And um, that's what this uh, coffee shop is all about, it's pretty much just the older vintage era where love is so passionate and songs have the greatest meaning of all time and style was just so fashionable. I'm a big fashionista. <laughs> She's better, way better at it than I am. Look at, look at her. She's like, she comes out looking like, you know, curls, the curls and everything. Curls. And, yeah, so. But I have this. Yes. The gold. The golden girl. Love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, so I just really broke pretty it. much my suit on the Roaring Twenties. Later on when I do an upgrade, because everything starts, you got to start small in order to get huge. So I really want to upgrade the shop. That way I can get a good, like, Clapper Girl mural here, and it could like represent a little bit of Idaho. So yeah, that really wall. There's a wall over here on the left side of me, and it needs some good uh, painting. So if you're good at doing murals, you know, hit me up. I'll definitely Calling contact all you. Calling artists. <laughs> Holy cow! Oh my gosh, that so fun! Oh my gosh, hi, hi Jenna. Hi. Oh hey, Mr. Lexa. Hi. He's gonna lecture me about I need microphones. Um, love you, Glenn. Oh, oh, and my Rachel's on. Hi, Rachel. Smooch Caden. Caden loves you. We, were, I, we talked by yesterday because yesterday was Chardonnay's 22nd birthday, so we popped by. We wanted to do a live, and of course, she was giving away free cookies. You guys have got to try the cookies. Almond paste, super fresh, delicious. Oh, and yeah, Caden got a hold of one of those, and Nano didn't exist. It was all about Chardonnay, the cookies, and the stuffed animals. She's a gorgeous. She's the cutest little thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I like her a little bit. I think we're gonna keep her. She's caliber. I think we're gonna keep her. She's awfully cute. Yeah, most so, definitely. So I love that you know you, for someone being as young as you are, yeah. diving into the Roaring Twenties because it, it had, there was so much character in the Twenties and it was just I mean everything was passionate. I mean, all of it. Yeah, she have have anything, anything that we learned about that era was just everything was just bigger than life, um, which made it really fun, really dangerous, but really fun. And so I love that you brought that here to the shop. You guys, here's here's the thing. Now you do the coffee. You've got they've got yummy food too, by the way. Um, and what are some things that you've got coming up? Because here's the thing. You guys, those of you that know me, you know that I am a coffee junkie. Okay. And I love, love, love visiting uh, almost all of the local coffee shops. I am all about them. There's a bunch of them here in the valley. And, but having a conversation with Chardonnay this morning about some of the specialty things that they do, you guys, nobody else is doing these things. And it's really, really cool. So tell, tell us, what we were, tell everybody what we were talking it's about this morning. It's called the Bees Knees Menu. Bees Knees. Yes. When you come in here, we gotta talk like the classy people that we are inside. So, the Bees Knees Menu has the Al Capone Mocha, which is a white chocolate with dark chocolate, steamed in espresso, and there's a little hidden secrets in there, but I won't tell. That's why it gives it that creamy, rich flavor. So, if you love your espresso that much, try the Al Capone Mocha. We also have the Flapper Girl Latte, which are fresh rose petals that we use, and we steam them up and we put um, a good, like, heavy cream inside it. That way it gives it that good, rubby touch. So, yes, roses taste amazing. I know you don't believe it, but come on by and give it a taste. I'm not totally sold on that, so I'm going to have to get one, and I will report honestly and truthfully because steamed roses, I'm very intrigued. Very, yeah. very interesting. Because yeah. I've tried like the um, some places that they're putting like lavender in their coffee. Oh yeah, most definitely. I was told by a woman that came in here yesterday, do Earl Grey and lavender. Apparently that tastes very, very delicious. But I think I will have to touch bases with you and see how you like that. I don't. She's like flowers and coffee shouldn't mix, but no. I think it's a good I'll trust you. Yeah. I'll try anything once, twice, if, you know, if it's good. So. Yeah, most definitely. So, but and I want to talk about the lemonades. Yes. Yes. So we have what we call the Sunrise Lemonades, and the most popular one that's coming out this April is our Huckleberry Lemonade. So if you 
I know. Idaho is very, very popular at Huckleberries. It's so what we do here, people. That is our biggest seller in spring and summertime. So definitely try it. And maybe we could get you to ease into the Huckleberry mochas also because chocolate and Huckleberry is also a strong soup. Yes. I will totally. Ooh, can I have that next week? Yes, exactly. I want that next week. That sounds good. Yeah. We'll put you on there. And if for you who are on the keto diet, I definitely totally understand that um, you watching your carbs is such a big thing these days. So yes, I do focus on keto diet customers as well. We have sugar-free uh, products and we also have the heavy whipping cream and we also top it off with cinnamon and nutmeg because those are very good for your immune system. They are. Yeah, super delicious. So I try to work around off of everything and anyone, anyone, anything, what are those <laughs> All makes, all models. Yeah, for those exactly. of you in master class, <laughs> she'll take care of you. All makes, all models. Yes, exactly. So you have an event coming up. I do. Tell us all about it, because I'm coming. I just learned about it. Okay, so on April, we're going to host our one year anniversary for the Brew Lane. Yes, it's so exciting. One year. I made it 365 days. And we are going to try to do a barbecue right outside our beautiful patio, which is going to have the most loveliest flowers as soon as they bloom super green environment so if you're into painting reading and or just relaxing that's the best place to just sip your coffee or tea and we're gonna have um, the jumping castle as well for our children from the uh, children's museum so i think it's gonna be a really really fun event and we're gonna have music and probably more of those almond paste cookies that you need to come on by and try Oh, I'm telling you, those things are amazing. And I don't like almond. I don't like almond. Oh, ugh. no, like a, if coffee has almond in it or <laughs> yuck, I don't like it's it like, at all. like, no, thank you. But those cookies, yeah, they're super delicious. I wouldn't know why somebody wouldn't love a good almond sugar cookie. I do love sugar cookies. So, yeah. so. That's probably why. That's what that's what boosted it up. That's what it was. <laughs> so, um, oh my gosh, what else do we need to know? Yeah. About? Do any of you have any questions for me right now? Yeah, we got a handful of people online. Oh, we got a nice group of yeah. people online. So, if you guys have any questions for Chardonnay, please shout them out. So, so definitely. Um, I, I got to tell you, the first time that um, I think the first time that we met was at Masterclass. Yes. And that was just a quick hi. Oh, she was doing a beautiful presentation. I was yeah, so intrigued. I was just like, Oh, that's right. That's why I was there. I can't. Yeah. I'm focusing on the brain, the, the yeah. different sets. And I was like, I never, it's the color test. It's ideal personality. So I'm the co founder of a personality assessment, uh, three tiered personality assessment. I presented to their group. I thought that that's why I was there. Because I just like to come to your group. You guys are awesome. So that's right. I was there for that. Yeah. Definitely need to try that out. I want to see what my strongest suits are on paper. Yeah. I already know, but you picked it <laughs> um, So, um, that was her lunch see, everybody's <laughs> loving it, but we don't have any questions. Hi, Colleen. Oh, hey, Colleen. Let's yeah. talk about Colleen for real fast. She's such a sweetheart. I tell her this every single time. I think she's just. <laughs> Who sends out cards with the most heartwarming words ever? I know it's like one of the biggest things is nobody does a handwritten letter or anything via mail. So, go to Colleen De La Rosa. She is. So fabulous when it comes to giving out the most heartwarming gifts or cards yeah. as well. So, and I gotta tell you, Colleen, yes. thank you, thank you, thank you um, for the beautiful card that you and Eugene sent at the passing of my father in law. That was beautiful and almost brought my husband to tears. So, thank you for that. It was amazing. Um, yeah, it, the, card, it, the card is now on our mantle with his ashes. So, thank you. It was a big deal. Yeah, it was really, really awesome. I appreciated that. So, um, and here's one thing that I know about this girl: is she'll just sit here and, and shout out other people. Yeah, yeah. That's what she does. She's a super connected person here in the community, um, in all of Treasure Valley, not just here in Meridian. And then I connect it all up and down the valley. So, thank you so much for hanging out today. The whole shout out thing. The only reason why I got into the shout out thing was because of Grotto Room. At the end of Grotto, everybody shouts out one another, and I'm like, that's just genius. You have to know what the littlest things that people do, they really do matter. So let's shout out first Krista because she came into my life and she's just so spontaneous and so loving and so crazy. She's like, we need to make this happen. 
I just, I love her. I mean, like, so big my brother love her. And I definitely and love the master class, and I couldn't have got into it without Stephanie Schaefer. She mm-hmm. comes in and checks up on me. Love you, Stephanie. Yeah, she comes in and she's just, she's just like this little ray of sunshine. She just wants to just give all this energy. Four you know? foot eleven. <laughs> Stack of dynamite. I'm telling you, she's, and she's so I'm so grateful so she's in my life. I mean, she's, oh, she's a rock star. Yes, most definitely. She does everything and anything. So if you know Stephanie, definitely say hi. She's part of the Melaleuca group, so super amazing. And if you haven't done so already, please hit the share button to make this video go viral. We need to get Krista out there with her talk with Krista because she brings the most amazing people on here and I learned so much from them. So thank you for doing that. Oh my gosh, this is this is just fun. This is like my favorite part of the whole entire week is getting to do the coffee with Krista. So I'm so glad that you I'm so glad that you were willing to jump on here and talk up in the store. I've been telling everybody when I'm going around and networking and anybody I can get my hands on, I'm like, oh let's go let's go do coffee. Uh I know a place. So, so right off the Meridian XA. So right off the, plus you. Right off of the interstate. It is the simplest place to get to. It's you know, and it's gonna start there. Yeah. And I just got in touch with actually Denver for the first time. I was talking to him and he said some great things about Krista. Oh, really? And we are gonna Thanks, be, boss. And we're gonna be meeting here on Monday, so I'm gonna be meeting Denver Jopro 101. He's such an awesome person. So yeah, Grotto is just amazing. It's this little flourishing flower. Yeah, Grotto is pretty fantastic. I'm really thrilled that I get to be a part of that. Um, I get to be a part of the executive leadership team in, adi- in addition to my coaching and all my online stuff that I do. Because you know, like you, I can't just do one thing. <laughs> we're busy. We do lots of stuff. Yeah, we're busy bees. We're we have an idea. We're engaged. Just gotta go for it. Yeah, and then when you have an idea in the same room with somebody who also has an idea, bets are off, people. All bets are off. We're gonna absolutely love it. So, um, huge shout out to Chardonnay, of course, for letting me come and hang out here and disrupt everything on a Thursday. Um, I love getting to be here, be in this space. The energy down here is amazing. Um, you guys, keep an eye on this one. This is somebody who I can hardly wait to say, oh, Chardonnay, oh yeah, I knew her when. I knew her when. Yeah, so it's for any really, of you really who fun. would like to schedule one-on-one uh, with me, definitely just stop on by. I'm willing to just drop everything for that moment and just talk to you because I have that great ear. So if you want to know more about me, engage, definitely go on to uh, the Chardonnay Through Lane Facebook page, hit like, hit follow, and then message me and I'll get to you in a heartbeat because, you know, I like to engage with She does. Love. You gotta put the love all around. Yep. She's all about social media, just like me. So it's super fun. And just really quickly, you guys, before we sign off, um, just want to let you guys know I have an official launch date for my Get Off the Damn Hamster Wheel uh, five day challenge. So for those of you that are, you know, it's March. And we all started the year with the goals or resolutions or whatever you want to call them. And I'm telling you, they've done studies. January 17th is the day that 90% of us give up on our goals. Oh my gosh. Just 17 days. Yeah, I know, right? Well, but here's why. Only 10% of us are wired in a way that we make a decision and execute it. We don't need accountability. We don't need, and by, say, by we, I don't mean me. I'm not in that 10%. Uh, you know, the accountability, the follow-up, the plan, the, you know, some people are just natural at, at executing, and then there's the rest of us. And so um, this program is for you, for the rest of us. Um, and what we're going to be diving into over a five-day period, and you guys, this is free. This is totally free. Over a five-day period, we're going to dive into a little bit about how we're, you know how you are wired, how you know how we're all wired, um, and what that means for us when it comes to setting and accomplishing our goals, as well as pieces and parts of the goals that are good support tools that you just probably don't even realize are a big deal. And that, of course, includes things like self-care, accountability, um, uh, time blocking, and all all kinds of things. We've got a, it's, it's this is meat and potatoes. This is not a. This is not a sales pitch. This is meat and potatoes. And um, so, yeah, we're going to kick it off officially March 25th, Monday, March 25th. So um, it will be uh, the, the, the group and everything will be live on Facebook uh, the beginning of next week. 
And so if any of you want any more information on it or want to make sure that you get tagged in it or that I email you or whatever, please go ahead and just message me so I can make sure that you're on the list. Um, so I'm super excited that that's going, uh, that's going to be what we're going to be focusing on here on March 25th. So, and next week, you're going to love this. Next week, my guest is going to be none other than the beautiful Marie Wallace. Marie Wallace is... Marie's goal. I had the pleasure of meeting her back when we were both connected to Amazing Changes, Tana Bengoa's group, when they had a physical, tangible location before Tana took it online. And I adore her. Have you met Marie? No. Oh my gosh, you're going to fall in love with her. She is a feisty little redhead. I love her so much. And she and her husband have a relationship romance conference coming up next weekend that I get to go to. So I'm going to have her on here next week so that you can learn all about her story, which is mind-blowing, and her heart, her passion, and of course, we're going to talk about her conference, too. She might have a few tickets available, so I want to make sure that she gets that room filled. It's going to be fantastic. So uh, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Coffee with Krista. As always, I love getting to take time every single Thursday to introduce you to people that I know you need to know. Um, so you guys just go out and have a great rest of your week. Appreciate you watching. Um, those of you that are watching the replay, appreciate and love you as well. And as always, you guys, be blessed in your success. Bye, guys. Bye.